Despite fierce opposition, the housing minister's resignation and two scathing reports from provincial watchdogs, the premier is pushing ahead with his plan to develop parts of the Greenbelt, announcing today that Ontario will now review all Greenbelt sites for potential development. There's going to be a complete review from top to bottom. The premier ignoring growing calls to reverse course. Instead, his government will reevaluate the 14 sites already removed from the green belt for development as part of a larger review of all parcels of the protected land. And there are no plans to pause development during that review. This review is a sham, right? It's a colossal waste of time and money. We have two independent investigations, independent officers of the legislature who've already dug into this. Those two provincial watchdogs already concluded the process of removing 7,400 acres of land from the Greenbelt last year was hasty, flawed and favoured certain developers who stand to gain $8.3 billion. The reports forcing Steve Clark to resign from his post as housing minister this weekend. Former long-term care minister Paul Calandra will be stepping into the role and will launch the newly announced review with the help of an independent facilitator. We're going to make sure the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. We're going to make sure that there's merit to every application that comes forward. But in saying that, nothing, again, is more important than building homes for the people of Ontario. Hundreds of additional applications for land removal will be considered in the review. The Premier not ruling out that other lands could now be opened for development. That will be up to the Minister to make that decision. The Premier today declared open season on the green belt. For the Premier to refuse to reverse a corrupt decision is outrageous. We will not stand for it, and the people of Ontario are going to continue to fight until this government returns all protections to the Greenbelt. But the Premier determined to reassure Ontarians they can trust him, sharing a lengthy list of his government's accomplishments and investments at today's press conference. The people can, can trust this government. You know, results speak for themselves. Unless the Premier does something to open the books, show us what we all need to see and return that land, none of us, not just the opposition parties, Ontarians are not going to be satisfied. No clear timeline on how long this review might take. The Premier only saying in the meantime, the facilitator will keep working with current landowners to ensure they build housing. He says he expects construction to begin no later than 2025 or those lands will be returned to the Greenbelt. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.